Hello and welcome to your fifth UDK tutorial and in this tutorial we're just going to go over the CSG operations. So CSG stands for constructive solid geometry and basically it is what it sounds like. So it's with constructing solid geometry, so constructing matter and substance in your scene. So last time we learned the CSG add pretty much gets your Brailler brush and it fills it with matter or stuff to create, well in this instance, a cube brush. So it just creates a brush. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking CSG add over here. And there we go. And now let's just move our builder brush so it's intersecting part of our cube. I'm just going to go ahead and move it. Oh, whoops, that was a bit of a fail. I'm going to move it. It wasn't a bit of a fail at all. I was one grid square out. So I'm going to move it over there. And as you can see, that's just intersecting with a quarter of our cube, just this part here. And also, we've selected this, these bits over here, which we don't particularly want, but that's okay. So let's just do our next CSG operation, which is CSG subtract. And as you've probably guessed, the last one added matter into our builder brush. So this one takes away matter from our builder brush. So if I just go ahead and do this, voila, you will see that in fact it has removed the matter that was in there. Now, if I just press B to hide our builder brush, you'll see that subtracts are denoted by yellow or this goldy type color. So if we click on that, you'll just see it's very obvious to see this yellow or gold, and that means it's subtract. So the only problem with this is not only is it trying to take matter away from here, but it's also trying to take matter away from here, here, and here. So all this part here. And we really don't need it to take away matter from there because we only want to remove this section here. We're not bothered about removing nothing from nothing over here. That's just inefficient. So if I just show our builder brush again and we just undo the subtract we did. Okie dokie. And let's use our next CSG operation to help us out with this. So this is CSG intersect. And if I just go ahead and click this and show you what it does, basically it changes your builder brush into whatever matter is intersecting your current builder brush when you press it. So if I just click it, uh -huh, this part here contains matter, and it intersected from our brushes into our builder brush, so it is basically selected. Our builder brush is set to that section. It isn't technically selected. We can't then move that around just as part of the object. But our builder brush is set to where that section is. So from here, we could then use our CSG subtract just to remove this section. So let's just get our Builder Brush back to its cube preset by pressing this up here. And let's go ahead and move it around to its other corner. And in this corner, we've decided... Whoops. Okay, in this corner, we've decided, instead of removing this section, we just want to add matter to this section, this section, and this section. I'll show up here, this section, this section, and this section. Well, what we can do is we can do the opposite of intersect, which is de-intersect, which is this last one here. So CSG de-intersect sets your builder brush to these sections here that didn't have matter in when you click the button. So now we have these, we can go ahead and do a CSG add to fill this with matter, and you'll see that's the exactly the desire, that's exactly the desired result that we wanted. So those are the four CSG operations. They're really useful and they're basically the basics of pretty much all brush-based geometry that you're going to want to do in UDK. So that's the end of this lesson and have a nice day.